Hey, my beautiful Sagittarius friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I hope you are all having a wonderful day so far. And those of you that are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. Now, this is a general reading for all of you, so I do ask that you please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you're looking for a personal reading, I do those as well. You can find my information in the description box below. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what message spirit guides have for all of you today. All right, what are we getting here? Okay, King of Swords is your first card. Look at that, so King Energy. All right, I feel some of you are feeling really good, especially because you come through a really long path in your life, okay? There is a maze behind this king, and this person is equipped with every tool that they need to go back in and come right back out, okay? So I feel some of you, in your mind, in your thoughts, there's a lot of clarity, all right? You've, you know you've got this sh light shining on your head as well so you know exactly where you are going in life right now you've got everything planned you strategize you've got this whole game plan right now for your life here okay and uh some of you come a long path come through a long path of obstacles challenges struggles and you've almost mastered some of these things in a way where um you're not afraid to take on any kind of obstacles. You can tackle them with ease and just I feel there's some sort of strength here for some of you with the King of Swords. Um, it's almost like you've mastered self-discipline You're in, or you're in the mode of... Um, mastering uh, self-discipline. I feel you're putting goals in place. You're structuring your life and um, you, you, yes, that's what I'm getting here is you're adding structure to your life. There's some goals and some, you've got this dream, you're putting together routines, okay? You are, um, it's almost, it's, I don't know if you intuitively something has come to your mind because there is a light shining, but it's almost like you have gained clarity in some way. Maybe you have, because you come out of this maze, there's something that you, a situation that you've come out of and you can't believe. You're like, whoa, whoa, I actually was able to come out of this. Uh, without any kind of damage it's like a, a video game like you just passed a level and you're kind of like whoa if I did that again I could probably do it even better right now we're on to the next level and you're ready to take it on because now you feel stronger now you've got a strategy you've got a plan you're disciplined you know exactly what you need to do to get further ahead so that is the energy I am getting here for some of you Sagittarius friends here is <laughs> it's so funny to even you know, um, compare it to a video game, but that's kind of what's coming into my mind here is, is that you're, you're playing a game and you've like mastered some of your moves and things and you're just leveling up and you're going to the next level and you're not afraid because you're like, oh yeah, I'm ready to face the next bad guy, which is a challenge or obstacle, right? Because you are now equipped. All right. You've got a plan of action here. Okay. These are like goals. You've got your, your list down pat. I feel you have, you're embracing this energy of um it's almost like come at me bro like come at me and and i'll show you kind of energy is what i'm getting here which is so funny so way to go sagittarius i feel like for some of you you are using logic and reason for a lot of the the scenarios that kind of happen in your life and you're not allowing things to um ruffle your feathers that is, that is something else I'm getting here as well. It's almost like you got this stability somehow and um, it, it, it's taken a while for it to come through, but I feel that you've gone through some sort of a situation recently where it's boosted your self-confidence in some way and it's, it is awesome. And it's not that you haven't had your share of struggles. I feel that you've overcome them. And because of the amount of challenges and obstacles you have under your belt, you're feeling almost confident. Like, you know, throw it at me. Let's see. Let's see what, bring it, bring it, bring it here. 
<laughs> Sorry, it's just very cocky energy. That's what I'm getting here. Not that you're being, you know, overly egotistical or anything or cocky in any way. It's just that confidence level is so high right now for some of you. Not everyone, but I do feel for some of you it is um, really high, which is good. Okay, the, a detour is available to you right now, Sagittarius, that can be of benefit. So look at that. So the universe wants you to know if you want to fast forward your life a little bit, there is a detour available to you. So I'm not sure what this detour is, but it depends on where in life you're at right now. So if you come through uh, now, please place this where it resonates for you, because for some of you, this could be a relationship that you are dealing with. This could be your career. This could be just anything in your life that you have come through now. OK, there is a detour available to you. OK, the universe is presenting you with an opportunity, which is a detour that's going to kind of move you around and push you in and that way you're not having to face more obstacles it's interesting how that is working out here for you Sagittarius so wow I'd love to hear about it if you comment if if you're going through this right now this is awesome if you're leveling up and you're just um yeah there's this empowering energy that's uh, coming out of you right now that is what I'm getting. We're getting the Hermit card here as well. So, you know, Spirit Guides want you to also to really self-reflect and take a pause and reflect on all that you've accomplished and to uh, master what it is that you know, master where you are in life right now, whether it's you coming through like a turbulent relationship, right? And you've mastered, you've gone through a situation now, it's pulled you out much stronger in this relationship or if it's a career right if you've gone through some tough times and you finally came through rising above the rest wherever this reading resonates for you spirit guides are asking you to really pause and reflect okay also to be grateful for you know where you are at in life right now okay and if you are in a position where you are still moving and you're still going through the obstacles and struggles know that you're going to get through them really well if you plan and strategize my friends plan and strategize use your intuition use whatever tools the universe have provided for you you know what those tools are for whatever situation that you're in right now and there's also a detour available to you um, some of you may need to build your skill sets maybe there's something that you're unaware of that you need to currently know to gain that knowledge and use that as ammunition to move yourself forward okay so I feel some of you um, really need to um, look it's they're saying to pause and reflect I feel things are moving in such a quick pace right now that you need to just pause for a moment and just stop in your tracks and just see everything for what it is just you know take a moment even if you're watching this video right now pause look around you where are you what's going on um, in your day what is what, what is going on in your day where are you right now how's your life going you know what are your current struggles what how are you going to maneuver them how are you going to strategize how are you going to plan those out so to take a moment take a break to really pause and reflect and look at uh, look for answers within especially if you're struggling right now if you're going through some sort of um obstacles or some sort of something going on here to uh, really look for answers within and reflect on some of the things that are going on introspection is also another word that's coming up here and um, to meditate some of you need to really meditate meditate in order to allow intuitive guidance to come in as well okay meditation quiets your mind all right, that's the whole point of meditation is to quiet the thoughts, quiet the mind so you can think clearly and gain clarity on how to move through life. OK, so spirit guides are asking some of you may need to look at um, meditating. Um, I'm also getting skill sets. So some of you are um, kind of 
on your path here, especially for career. I, you know, those of you that are trying to figure out work related things, um, if you're trying to maneuver a career, trying to figure out how you're going to um, get out of a situation, or if you're trying to build your own business, right? You need skill sets. Spirit guides are saying that you need to gain more skills, like master yourself, master what it is that you already know, or build new skill sets. The more you know, the more your the more opportunities are available to you. Okay, Sagittarius. So spirit guides are really asking you to pause and reflect. What is it that you need to know? What is it that you need to learn? What could you gain from? Okay. It will all make sense to you soon. So some of you might not have clarity as far as what is going on here. Some of you may be in a situation where you're kind of like, holy moly, I just came out of something. I don't know what is going on. There's a detour available. What? For what? I don't know. There's like confusion. There's no clarity. Or maybe you're uncertain or wondering or curious or just like, what is happening right now? Where is my life going? It's almost kind of like you're on this roller coaster. And um, it will all make sense to you soon here, my friends. So that is what Spirit Guides really want you to know. That things are going to start making sense. You need to pause and reflect for a moment and see. And I feel once you do that, it will all make sense to you as well, okay? I feel taking that time to quiet your mind, um, even to meditate and use that to uh, really push yourself to see what it is that um, you need to gain clarity on, right? So that king energy is so awesome, Sagittarius. Okay, so whatever it is you're doing, I don't know, uh, but you're leveling up, but you also need to pause and reflect for a moment just to see. And we're getting the two of pentacles. So some of you are really juggling a lot. I, that's why there is so much going on and it will all make sense to you soon. But it's almost like you're, you, the universe or there's so many things being tossed at you and you're like playing this like juggling game here. Um, to me, these feel like yo-yos. Things are just coming up and down and up and down and up and down. And you're kind of like, you know, your brain's like, whoa, what is going on? I feel like my brain's a yo-yo. My head's a yo-yo. It's like this way, that way, one way, this, you know, it's this crazy energy that I'm getting here. Um, wobbly energy. That is what I'm getting here. Wobbly energy is what I'm feeling. And some of you have already come through this wobbly energy with flying colors. And some of you are still in this wobbly energy. That's what I'm feeling like. And to turn that headlamp on, the light on your, you know, to turn that light on. Take a moment to pause and reflect. Turn that light on because there is a detour available to you, okay? This is what spirit guides are asking and then it will make it will make sense to you soon, okay? And with this 2 of pentacles energy, I do feel that um you know, bringing two areas of balance into your life might be the solution for something. So working out balance, it's almost like you're playing a balancing act, a balancing game. You're juggling priorities. Spirit guides really want you to be flexible in the way you uh, manage your, your priorities as well here, okay? Um, some of you might be stretching resources out to the max where, you know, it's really putting... Um, a lot of pressure on you here as well okay so spirit guides are are asking that you um, pause and reflect okay pause for a moment take some time to really pro like think about how you're going to prioritize things how you're going to maneuver this wobbly energy that you're in right now it's almost like a maze uh, a wobbly energy with a maze gee whiz that is insane energy to be going through right now for some of you. And those of you that have come through it, way to go. I still feel though a lot of you uh, have even more uh, bigger obligations, but some of you are able to manage them very, very well because you've come through that crazy wobbly, men, um, wobbly energy maze that now you're fully equipped. And some of you that are currently going through that right now know that you're going to come out the other side like this, okay? And um, 
Spirit guides are really wanting you to know that they're with you. They're helping guide you through all of this, turb not, not turbulence, this wobbly energy, this like juggly um, yo-yo energy, okay? And they're trying to help guide you. So please pause and reflect, meditate if you can, build some skill sets, especially those of you that are stumped on something. I feel that if you are feeling not confident enough to... Um, move in the direction that you want to it might be because you need to gain some more experience somewhere in in your life here okay and the minute you do and it um there's so much there's so much information online now that's free that is you know at your fingertips that you can take advantage of i would definitely do that take the time pause and reflect and learn take in knowledge gain all of that because it's there for you uh, it's available for you so to tap into that as well here Sagittarius because I feel this is going to move you in a direction that um, is going to fast forward you into amazing new places that you've never even um, imagined you can be it's like leveling up I feel like some of you are going to be leveling up here pretty quick now, spirit guides are also asking that you embrace what you've learned and cherish your experiences because they are divinely fated for you. All right, Sagittarius, look at that. Embrace what you've learned. Embrace everything you've learned, you know, in your life, throughout your life. What have you learned? Gain from those experiences because they're going to be beneficial for you in your next leveled up life, okay? And cherish those experiences. They were sent to you for a reason. We are given obstacles, struggles, challenges, all those kind of things in order to equip us for our future life, okay? These are things that we failures people think of failures as a bad thing failures are good things those are things we learn from that's how we move forward in life that's how we grow okay so those of you that are afraid of failures learn to embrace your failures learn to learn from them all right because our our it's like in here embrace what you've learned and cherish your experiences because they are divinely fated and you don't know that until you go through uh life life's experiences when you're like whoa wait a minute I've already went through this whether you know I've already went through this experience it's just different but the way I tackled it is going to be the same way I tackle this but in a different perspective okay so that's how I think of it is you know you go through some of life's experiences um for example, I had two relationships I was in. They were similar but different. And I was in, in the same place, in the same moment, you know, in those relationships. The same amount of time had passed. And I'm like, wait a minute. This is, I feel like I'm repeating this again. So there's some sort of a lesson I'm supposed to learn here. Because why am I repeating this again? Right? So now I took that past experience into this last, this other relationship. And did it in a different way and got out of it now I learned then I learned from that second one and now I'm in this beautiful wonderful harmonious happy joyous satisfied fulfilled life with my partner now but I had to learn from my past experiences right I didn't let that hinder me I didn't let that wound me I didn't let that stop me I didn't let that create a barrier for me right so I feel for some of you this is what this uh, card means is to learn from those experiences and cherish them in order to move forward right learn from them quiet your mind and that way you can move forward so that is your message here uh sagittarius from spirit guide so level up my friends those of you that are there congratulations keep going my friends because you are doing very well so if this resonates for you, please comment below. I'd love to hear all about it. And if you're enjoying my videos, please hit that like button. And if you are new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish all of you a beautiful day. And thank you so much for watching.